सो हेलो गाइज मैंने मुझे आपका स्वागत है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो आई एम सुपर डोपो हैप्पी दैट यू आर हेयर टुडे वी टॉकिंग अबाउट एन डिज़ाइन विच इज़ अ वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर लाइब्रेरी फॉर रिएक्ट एंड इट इज़ यूज फॉर नॉट मेकिंग यू आई बट इट हैज़ अ लॉट ऑफ प्री बिल्ड यू आई कम्पोनेंट्स विच आर टोटली ऑसम लेट मी टेल यू दे आर अमेजिंग एंड यू कैन यूज इन यूज इट इन योर वेबसाइट इन योर नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट एंड यू कैन मेक यू कैन मेक योर प्रोजेक्ट रियली रियली ईजी टू मेक बिकॉज यू ऑलरेडी हैव थाउजेंड्स ऑफ बिल्ट इन कम्पोनेंट्स विच आर सुपर डूपर ऑसम सो विल बी चेकिंग आउट दिस थिंग इन दिस वेरी वीडियो सो कैन स्टार्ट विल बी ऑल्सो मेकिंग अ डैशबोर्ड यूजिंग एंड डिजाइन ओके सो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स गो टू एंड डिजाइन एंड डॉट डिजाइन आई थिंक आई बिलीव दैट्स द साइट सो that's the official site i believe yes that's that's the official site so <clears throat> as you can see right now over here this is the official site of and design and if you go to the components it says what is and design it's a design system for inter enterprise level products create an efficient and enjoyable work experience if you go to components you know there are there are thousands of compu components trust me okay there are thousands of components you, you just just go go through this thing okay and you can you know you have a lot of customization it's super cool so you know you will ask me okay jay you are correct it's super duper cool so how to use it let's show that let's use it okay and we'll be we'll be finding out how to how to use it first of all we'll be opening terminal because terminal is dope right okay so first of all let's create a folder where we'll be learning about this and design uh let's call it tute okay why why have i named this tute i don't know i absolutely don't know so first of all a uh, few things first okay uh we'll be using a beat for making the react project so if you don't know about beat it's like a lightweight version of create react you can think of it like that by the way it's built by completely like vue.js guy you know you remember it's built by him so we'll be going to uh beat js i believe uh beat.dev Yes, that's what we are talking about. This this is this is a front. Uh, this is next generation front end tooling. That's what it says. Okay. So first of all, if you want to get started with this, simply go to get started, and you'll have this option. We'll be using npm for this project. By the way, you can use anything what you want. You are completely free to use anything. Okay. So now the next now, now next thing. So let's let's create it. So this we'll be copying this npm script to uh, create it. So let's first uh, go to the terminal and quickly create it. It's happening! It's happening! Wait! Don't go anywhere. Wait! It's happening. Let me tell you, it's uh, super duper fast. Okay. Yeah. So till the time it is actually doing this. Okay. It asks for a project name. Let's give it uh, the project name which we want is Ant Design. D E S I G N T U T. Okay, and now you have to select a framework. Basically, you can make all these different technologies which you you can make, which you can use to make your project project. So we'll be using React. Okay, so now it asks for either I want JavaScript or TypeScript. So which one do you want to go for? Uh, let's go for uh, which one? JavaScript. I think most of you will be familiar with this. So let's go to this folder. I think it has created a folder, and we we just wasted time creating a folder on desktop. But that's that's completely fine. Uh, let's first install all these dependencies which it needs. So yeah, that's important. Uh, till the time it is uh, installing the dependencies, let's ha let's have a look at the at the various components which it has. So if I if I go if I go here where. If I go to uh, not Vite, man, come on, what I'm doing in Vite? Uh, if I go to this, you can see there are radio buttons, uploads. By the way, what we are going to use specifically is something called structure. I don't remember that. Uh, let's let's have a search. There, by the way, there's a very very uh, good search functionality which will help you to search anything which you want. So, by the way, let's search for something. Um, what layout? I believe that's what it is called. Uh, layout. Mm, yeah is this one no that's 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 not absolutely what we don't want uh, the second one yeah that's what we want we'll be using this layout thing layout uh, to generate this particular layout for our dashboard and trust me it's going to look super duper cool and it's super duper easy so trust me trust me on this by the way you can also customize this if you if you think something is not looking as per you your uh, 
you know as per your need you can cust totally customize it that's completely fine you know, it does not have any issues okay uh, yeah so I believe uh, you know we are done with this installing by the way if uh, I run the project I can even show you I think it's dev or start I don't know it's dev yeah it's dev come on that's that's correct so it's uh, it has started our application on port 3000 so if I if I go on Chrome and if I open this application at port 3000 you'll see that our read application is successfully running yes that's how dope it is so the next thing we'll be doing is actually uh, starting this application in VS code which is the editor of choice of everyone basically <laughs> everyone loves VS code do you love VS code simply you know comment down below and tell me and if you have any doubt in this whole tutorial simply message me on email me if I don't reply Instagram me if I don't reply comment me and if then also I don't reply then shame on me that's all <laughs> okay so yeah so okay uh, so we have then by the way don't get confused you know I've just I just moved this to the left side is this left or right I think left yeah move to move this to the it's right side sorry move this to the right side okay so yeah so the first thing we'll be doing is going to the source directory and going to the app.js file so first of all uh, let's learn how to install and design into our project it's super duper easy so as we are here we'll be going to this uh, section called get started uh, where's that uh, documentation I believe documentation and uh, uh, get started where's the get started yeah so just go for this use and create react app section by the way we, we are not using create react app but this will work i promise okay so uh what we you have to install and d that's the first thing which you have to do so let's install that so npm install and d which is and design um uh, yeah that's it that's being installed right now okay so we will have to wait till this installs Till that time, let's have a look at the at the this page, this page actually, which uh, has all the components. Okay, this is this button general. Okay, so this is these are the buttons, layout, grid. There's a lot of things. And then you have space divider, FX. Then you have breadcrumb. Then we have drop down menu, pagination, page header. There's a lot of components, man. You can simply click on it. There are demo codes you can copy paste them very very easily so it's going to be really quick to make a dashboard by the way I'm not going to show you the full dashboard how to make a full dashboard fully fledged it, it will give you an idea about how to use uh, and design by the way so <clears throat> okay we are on the wrong we have opened OBS studios which we do not have to okay so I believe you know the installation is done yes the installation is done the next obvious thing we'll be doing is uh, you know uh, we need to include the CSS file also uh, if you if you go further in the okay man I, I just I just go on another page man I should which I should not okay so uh, you know you we, we need this uh, what where is that where is that yeah this one so we need this uh, uh, import statement so there's like two ways you can import it in the CSS file or you can directly import it in the app.js file it's up to you both will work basically let's go for the app uh, let go let's go for the app.css thing by the way there's a lot of uh, styling before from like default which we'll be removing because we don't need them and we'll just paste this okay that's that's it the next thing we'll be doing is actually removing all the default code which which it has given us so that's which we'll be removing it and let's do a little little experiment okay so I believe uh, if, we, if we go and check the output now which is over here okay it has an issue what is the issue the issue is uh, what's the issue man fail to find okay so you cannot find this thing okay 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 what are we doing over here let's try to uh, I think if I just remove this this should work yeah it worked we're done yeah so um, basically once we include this in our CSS file we are good to go and the problem is we still have a logo over there which we don't want yeah so in the main.jsx file we have this and I think that's it 
yeah we have a blank application now so let's actually start with the layout which we actually thought of using so i just have 1.1 gigabyte of data left so yeah that's also a thing so i'll have to be really really quick in my phone uh, space left okay let's be really really quick okay so basically we'll uh, just use this layout so how, how do you use this layout it's super duper simple you just need to uh, actually go here okay if you see this is all the code which you need it's super duper simple so what first of all let's start by importing all these things so from different places I believe uh, not here man come on yeah so here save this uh, after doing this after all the imports which you can see the next thing we'll be doing is <laughs> which we always do copy pasting this is our favorite work to do right so by the way it has used a class based component so it has a class based state we'll be making our own uh, react hook based state so we'll be definitely doing that so uh, let's do that actually so <clears throat> instead of count it will be collapsed like the sidebar is collapsed or not set collapsed and if my the spelling of my collapse is wrong I'm really really sorry uh, let's call it uh, you know initially, initially it will not be collapsed uh, set collapse it's not set collapse it's set collapse yeah once that is done uh, we are good to go on collapse we don't need this uh, let's copy this whole layout thing from here to our application copied pasted uh, so let's put this save this up by the way and let's go check the result by the way there's this one thing as you can see collapsed collapsed that's completely okay we have the spelling wrong you know, as expected I'm really bad in spellings that's for sure that's that's sign which I know and you have on collapse so basically on collapsed we want to flip this thing so on collapsed we want to say set collapsed uh, not collapsed see if the spelling is wrong you can just you can just correct this up okay so once we do that let's check the output errors finger cross no errors please please we don't want error right now okay it's it's showing nothing man that's that's weird come on what's the issue come on what's the issue let's go okay uh, let's restart the server I think you know that that you know after and design thing is done it 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 it, it, it get, get us, gets a stroke okay so we'll have to restart this thing up like it's kind of afraid of starting this up we have 0 0.6 gigabytes of storage left so we have to be really really quick on this I'll just show you how to use the layout you can use the buttons dividers yeah that's done as easy as that, that. Yeah, I told you you can use this see is that that damn easy you know you can just go keep on creating things it's super duper easy man it's super duper cool let's go and you know we'll, we'll have we have some amount of storage left in my phone so let's be really really quick to, quick in like uh, making some more things so if we just uh, <clears throat> you can go and select any of these designs okay uh, by the way uh, let's go use and use some cards okay and if I go and see so let's you know we we like this both cards so if you just if I just go and put this into my content they will be there and you just basically got the idea right how to use it uh, you just have to you know copy paste it but <laughs> I'm not telling you to copy paste it has a way okay so if you go and study so yes after deleting about six gigabytes of file I'm back so basically we'll be completing our uh, dashboard which we were designing so let's uh, actually uh, let me start by explaining you the this layout okay so if you're a bit confused how this work this this menu is actually the top level component and inside this this menu dot item or you can say this item is the sub you know are you getting the point it will it defines every menu in the collection so that's how it is by the way you will get it like how this is actually working as soon as you proceed I'll say 
okay so you know let's leave that and let's uh, include some components inside the but because what we have right now um, is I think it's cool man I'll, I'll not say this is not cool you know you can see this this all by the way you you will you can see we have this sub components these files and it's not very easy to make in native react okay so if you have a library which is which supports you which facilitates you to make something like this, some some of these amazing things it's super duper cool like, like bill is a cat you can see you can put your uh, anything over there basically so for just for just giving an example uh, i'll just you know go over here and just i'll write a div and give some inline styling so that's what you can do in this so uh, okay let's let's instead of using inline styling let's use the and design native library so there's something called call which is a column so let's put it inside row i think it has imported successfully and then we can go to call which is one single column and then you can use the card component to create a card okay so that's how it is okay so you just need to do that it's okay so um let's paste this over there okay and let's press ctrl shift i in order to format this and save this so let's see how does this thing looks i'm not sure that it will look very good but yeah it will give you an idea uh let's refresh this so that we can we can see the changes by the way refresh is not required i think it's compiling that's why it's taking a bit of time okay and yeah let's see by the way you don't think this makes your process very very easy you know and if you want a full elaborated tutorial on how to use uh, and design if you want this a, a whole website to be made in and design uh, i'll definitely do that if you want okay again will i have to restart the whole thing that's not what, something which i want to do you know sometimes sometimes it it gives some issues by the way let's 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 try to do that again like let's restart the thing <sighs> cross fingers let's see I think there's some issue because I have not imported this components I believe this column uh, like column and uh, that no that that's that was the issue column and row okay the row was imported the column was not imported so let's do that first um, that was the issue I believe that's why it was not okay for just for, for just now let's do one thing let's uh, remove this section and let's see is it visible now i think it was well, yeah it's visible now so uh let's go very 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 gentle in this right now so there's something called topology uh we can use that so topo is i think called topo uh, let's let's go and see uh, like how to make an h1 tag basically in <clears throat> in and design so there's something called topology let's go and search for that topo logi uh, or text i believe uh, yeah you we want a topology text that's what we want by the way yeah you can see this uh, these uh, various tags so it's called title which is inside topo topology so first of all we have to imp import topology from and design and then we can have the title and all uh, so we can just say topology over here uh, I think it's called typography yeah that's it's not topology sorry I'm I'm I'm, I'm bullshit it's called typography <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay so uh, now let's destructure this and let's take out uh, the I mean you can do uh, uh, you can do like typography dot that will also work but 
you know to be like clean neat and clean let's uh, take out the title from this and now actually you can use this over here so you can say title and uh, you can say uh, uh, dashboard by the way uh, that's how it is so yeah dashboard the next thing is let's make four cards four cards like one two three four which will show various metrics okay let's try that out and let's see how does that goes on for now okay so what we'll do is like uh, we'll just go here and uh, what am i doing i don't know uh, we'll just okay so for making that actually you need something called a grid alignment so if i just go and type grid and say grid concept design concept or grid something like that uh, you'll see that basically you know we can arrange various things in various manners okay so if you if you if you want like how how this is done so if you just go to this you'll see row column and divider so basically there's row and there's column so we are talking about gutter gutter is like what is the total amount of space and then it's something like that so basically it's very very simple you know it's row call let's let's try to do it okay so it's like uh, if you have used bootstrap it's similar to that it's similar to that so uh, first of all you have row okay and then you have call and for just just for testing purposes uh, let's write test over here and let's post paste it four times because four are different cards we need we need uh, two three four save it and mm, let's uh, see the result again I think we have some issue whenever you use, we use row and column it gives start gives giving issues so uh, let's actually go and see do we have imported them or not no we have not I think that's what that's the issue so let's import row and let's import a column and that's it I believe both of them are being used right now yeah 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 yeah. it's working then you put here to do it they are appearing in the side by side but we want this to be appearing in the full width so for that what what we need is uh, basically you know this whole row you know we just want to give some styles to this the style is very simple the width uh, needs to be 100 percent right the width needs to be 100 percent and if that happens you'll you'll notice you know, let's refresh this up If you just go and focus uh, orientation left and then we have like 16 gutter like uh, are you getting the point if you're confused what is gutter you can just read this you can use the gutter property of row as a grid spacing so that's like a spacing how much space do you want okay and um, it's it's fifth it should be like 16 plus a 10 pixels so that will be the total result if you if you are confused right now in that so let's go and actually see the like how it is actually made so yeah yeah okay no it's not ready to work with the call okay I don't know what so okay we'll just uh, you know we'll go with the grid uh, we'll go with the flex box which we know for sure will work so basically flex display flex display you know that works you know we'll have to pay play, pay a little bit of time on that I'm sure you'll be able to get it work so just you know just comment down below if you are able to so that will be amazing so uh, let's say display flex and uh, let's put uh, four cards over here so card cool and we'll be going with three uh, four of them two what have we copied a space like literally uh, two three and four so we have the four cards and the next thing we want is uh, justify content uh, justify content and this, let's say space between by the way you can do this okay that's what I want to show there that if you want you can use the CSS as usually you choose so let's refresh this up. Why? Oh, I'm, mm, I'm fed up with this man. Why things doesn't work? It's working. And if I just go and place anything else, it stops working. Okay, again, the card is not imported. I believe that's the issue. 
um, over here. So if I just save this, this should again, yeah, we got it. We got something, right? So by the way, this card, uh, the width and height will not be this. So width and height will be uh, grow for each of these things. So if I go, just go, like, like I'll, 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 I'll write style and then uh, let's write width. It's inner width, outer width. I want uh, I want width to be uh, not width. Come on. Uh, I want flex. Uh, let's put it one. And let's copy this property to each of those cards. I'll not be making the full thing. By the way, you will definitely be able to. So just make something cool and comment down your link. I'll definitely check it out and maybe showing that in my next video that will be super cool right so let's see yeah you can see and basically you can we can give we can go on and give some heights as well to these things so we can uh, you know uh, uh, I can just go to each of these things and uh, by the way okay so I can say now away a flex and I can give some height also so I can give height like uh, let's say you know 300 pixel so that will be super duper cool. Uh, it takes some time to. Yeah now it has rendered so you can see you know we have the cards you can go below create different stuff and all so if i just you know place if i just for like placeholder if i create few stuff i think you got the idea you know that's what we built just within like without doing it you know, half of the time i wasted time that's i, I totally agree with that but you know you can see you can we can we can build something really really awesome using and design that's what i wanted to do thank you for watching this video i hope so you have a great day and happy whatever is coming next whatever the next festival is and someone has told me that I should work really hard, so I will for sure. So, bye-bye. Have a great day. Subscribe my channel if you want. And just, that's it.